I was catching up on some of the pictures. You you went back home, Minneapolis, and what was going on there? Something real special to your heart, right? Yeah, a couple of things. Uh, one thing is um, they're naming a street, the street that uh, I grew up on, um, where kind of we kind of got our music jumped off at. Uh, um, they're naming it after my mother. It's gonna mm -hmm. gonna be called Bernadette Way. So uh, Bernadette Anderson Way. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And I was also there because Spike um, Spike Moss who um, ran a community center that gave us our first opportunity to play in front of a crowd. Um, yeah, they honored him with a, um, a street named after his the area right where the community center was. Um, unfortunately, yeah. it's a police station now, but uh, it used to be a community center, so. Right, so but you, cool. your, your, your mom, for those that don't know, was a real crucial part of your upbringing, but others, Prince, and, and just the community, she was well known. In, and um, oh. tell us a little bit about your mom and the significance of what you brought to the community and your life. You know, my mom was, you know, basically to give you a quick brief overview, she was, um, God, separated from her family at a really young age, got pregnant at 14, had uh, my oldest brother at 15, got married, uh, raised six amazing children with my father, Fred Anderson, and, uh, you know, um, went back to school, worked hard, um, got her education, and I uh, actually basically became the director of the YWCA, had um, one of the YWCA's named after her. Um, she um, really helped a lot of teens in the community in the area. Um, basically, our family won Family of the Year, which uh, right. is an amazing picture that uh, includes myself, my siblings, and Prince, who at the time my, my mother actually adopted. Um, and so he lived with us for several years during during that period of time. And uh, you know, basically, we were able to you know she allowed us to do our music um, and. Uh, allowing us to do our music allowed a lot of other musicians in the neighborhood and the mm -hmm. sort of community a place to come and hang out and and just you know feel comfortable you know playing music so your house was the the home where the neighborhood kids would gravitate towards and their parents had to say call them for dinner right absolutely <laughs> <laughs> something like that no exactly like that it was it yeah was, it was the hub yeah right 